Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my practice, welcome to my channel. My name is Elise, I am super happy that you are on your yoga mat with me today. Uh, you are for quite a strong practice today, I must admit that um, it's a lot of core work, plank pose, forearm plank, dolphin pose, um, it's, it's great, it's just like to cultivate presence, to just be with whatever it is and also cultivating ahimsa. Ahimsa is non-violence, non-violence towards yourself, others and towards your body. So whenever you feel like resting in child's pose, please go to child's pose, all right? Whenever you feel like hitting pause, you hit pause, you find your breath and then you come back to it, but you come back to it. All right, hop on your mat and let's get started. All right, lovely people, you can come to a comfortable seated position. You can grab the muscle of your bum, remove it back so you feel you can dig your sit bones into the earth. Let the arms be heavy on your laps. Close your eyes for a moment. Grow your spine tall, but without having, you know, a stiff back. And as you gently close the eyes, you can rest your eyes behind your eyelids. Relax the whole of your face. Drop your shoulders. Let your arms be heavy on your laps. Release the belly. Relax the glutes. Release tension in the legs, in the feet and up to the toes. And now you can find your breath. Maybe for the first time today, notice the breath. The movement of the chest rising and falling. The air coming in and out of the nostrils. And throughout the practice, try to stay present with the breath. The breath is really your connection to the present moment. And whenever you lose the breath when you lose contact with the present moment you are not doing yoga anymore so throughout the practice remind yourself to be present and let that be your intention today you can silently or out loud repeat i am present i am present i am present and that in your yoga practice and your in your daily life. Now let's start the practice the practice with three cleansing breaths. You can start by exhaling all the air out of the chest and the abdomen. And then through the nose take a deep, deep inhale. Feel the air coming in the nostril, expanding the chest, filling the abdomen, hold it at the top. And in a big open mouth, exhale. And when you exhale, you let something go. And again, inhale deeply all the good energy of the earth, all positive and good vibes, all the way to the top. And in a big open mouth, exhale and you release stress, tension, anything that doesn't serve you. And one more time, deep breath in. And a big breath out. And then come back to a natural and simple breath. And here you can activate what we call in yoga your Ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath is also called Dark Vader breath or the Victorious breath is inhaling in and out through the nose with a constriction at the back of the throat. So when you breathe, you can actually really hear your breath and you can hear the sound of the ocean or something like that. So you kind of block or constrict your muscles at the back of the throat. 
and it's always inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, and it really gives you strength and stamina and stability in your practice. So try to always come back to this Ujjayi breath. Now bring your hands in prayer in front of your heart. Rub the hands together. Imagine you want to light up a fire. Cup the hands in front of the eyes. Feel the energy you've created. And then bring the eyes open. Spread your fingers and release. Good. All right. And you know what? Let's start and let's come into an extended child's pose. So you can come at the back of your mat, come really at the back of the mat. Join your big toes, open the knees, and now make sure you are in a straight line. So stack the shoulders above the hips and everything is really nicely forward. Bring the hands forward and let's activate this child's pose. So you can bring the forehead onto the floor. If it doesn't touch, maybe you bring a book and you actively press the floor away from you. The elbows are not touching the floor, the arms are lifted, the fingers are widely spread. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Activate your ujjayi breath. Now walk the hands and the torso to the left. Make sure the shoulders are, are relaxed and you can bring the right hand on top of the left. And you can move the hands a little bit more forward so you should feel a good stretch on the, on the right side. Deep breath. One more full cycle of breath. Then move the hands back to center and the torso, obviously. Keep activating the arms. And now move to the right, all the way to the right, torso on top of the right thigh. And maybe bring the left hand on top of the right for a deeper stretch on the whole of the left side. Now maybe your left shoulder has lifted. So see if you can bring the left shoulder back and level to the right one. Take two more deep breaths. And then move back to center. Good. Now bring the forearms onto the floor. Bring your knees in, underneath your hips, and come into this variation of a tabletop, but on your forearms. So you want to have the elbows underneath the, um, the shoulders, and the knees under the hips. Open the fingers wide. Bring the belly button in. And from here, we'll do a few rounds of cat cows. So as you inhale, you let the belly fall, you lift the tailbone and you look forward. As you exhale, you press onto the elbows, you round the upper back, you tuck the chin to the chest and you, you find your core, so belly to the spine. Two more like this. As you inhale, arch the lower back, tailbone lift, look forward. As you exhale, you press onto the elbows, you tuck the tailbone, you round the upper back. Imagine you want to send the heart towards the ceiling. Find your core. One more time. Inhale, belly drops. Look forward, tailbone lifts. Gently press onto the elbows. And as you exhale, you round, 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 round. Find your core, belly to the spine. And inhale, back to neutral position. Good. And now from here, come on to all fours. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, and feet are flat. Good. Now let's build a little bit more fire into your core. I know you love that, right? Okay, so open the fingers wide. Gently press the floor away so you, you release the shoulders. Now extend the right leg and flex the foot. So flexing the foot means the toes pointing towards the floor and the heel pressing up to the ceiling. Now try not to open the right hip. And now bring the left arm forward with the thumb facing up, the pinky toe facing down, and bring the shoulders back into its socket. And you firmly press the floor away with the right hand. 
and you gaze down, so you gaze towards the right thumb, so you keep a long neck. If you feel out of balance, you can tuck the toes of your left foot, so you, you'll find a little bit more stability. Remember your Ujjayi breath, and as we find stillness, remember to be present. Two more breaths here. I know it starts to burn in your right butt cheeks, maybe in the belly. Now take a deep breath, and as you exhale, release hands and knee to the floor. Oh, I have a cramp. All right, let's do that on the other side. Extend the left leg. Uh, toes towards the floor, the heel pressing up. Now find your stability, ground the left hand onto the floor and lift the right arm forward. The thumb is facing up, the pinky finger is facing down. Release the, the right shoulder into its socket. Engage your core and your left butt cheeks. And you're still gazing down. And you stay present with the sensations, you stay present with the breath. Don't worry about how long we're going to stay here. Keep breathing. You got two more breaths. And then a big inhale. And as you exhale, release back to tabletop. Good. Now let's find our first downward dog. So tuck all ten toes. Maybe move the hands a little bit more forward. And make sure that the middle finger is pointing towards the front edge of the mat. And your wrists are parallel to the front edge of the mat. Now inhale here, as you exhale, hover the knees of the floor, press the hips up and back, straighten the legs and walk your dog. You know exactly what to do. You can lift one heel after the other, bending a knee, move your hips from one side to the other. Find movement. Notice how it feels in the back of the leg. Notice how it feels in your spine, in your hips. Find a little bit more movement before we come to stillness. And now come to stillness. So if you feel that you're running the upper back, you can lift the heels and bend the knees. And so you can straighten out the spine. That's really the purpose of downward dog. Then the heels will come to the floor in their own time. Now roll the shoulders out. Like imagine you want to roll the armpit towards your earlobes. And with your hands, imagine you want to rip you want to rip your yoga mat in two. So you really have a strong movement in the hands as well. Now look forward between the hands. As you inhale, lift the heels. As you exhale, you come forward, rounding the upper back, and you find your plank pose. Maybe you need to move the feet a little bit more towards the back. Shoulders above the wrists. Gaze between the thumbs. Your heels are pushing down, pushing back, I mean, sorry. Glutes engaged, core engaged, thighs engaged. If you feel like setting the knees onto the floor, you can absolutely set the knees onto the floor. And now from here, we'll go back to downward dog. So if you have set your knees onto the floor, come back into your plank. Inhale. As you exhale, lift the hips up and back and find downward dog again. We'll do this two more times. Look forward. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, round the upper back and shift into a plank pose. Take two breaths here, pressing the floor firmly away from you. Now inhale, exhale, lift the bum up and back and find your downward dog again. Remember to roll the shoulders out, to really open the fingers wide, press the weight equally onto the hands. One last time, look forward, inhale, lift the heels, round the upper back a little bit like a cap, come into your plank. One more breath. Inhale, and as you exhale, back to downward dog. Very good. You must feel a little bit of fire in the belly, right? I bet. Good, now look forward. Right foot, left foot step at the front of the mat. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway up. You lengthen the spine. You crown the head, reaching for, the, for the, the wall in front of you. Gently squeeze the shoulder blades. And by bringing the navel 
to the spine, you really hold your, your back straight. Weight to the toes. Inhale here. Exhale, fall forward. Now you can bend the knees so your, your hands touch the floor. And release the forehead towards your shins. If you need to, you can walk a little bit into position, bending one knee after the other. Bring the navel to the spine to create space between the belly and the thighs. Now bend the knees, press onto the feet. As you inhale, circle the arms around up to the ceiling. Do that slowly. Hands touch above the head, above the head. Take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, swan dive. Open the arms, circle them all the way down. Relax the forehead towards the shin, hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway up. Open up the chest, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, fall and release. Uttanasana, four, four. Relax the shoulders. Now bend the knees, press onto the feet. Use the core. As you inhale, circle the arms up. Hands touch above the head. And we do that one more time. As you exhale, fall forward, opening the arms to the side. Swan dive. Relax the forehead towards the shins. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release into your forward fold. Bend the knees, press on the feet. Inhale, rise all the way to the top. Look up. And as you exhale, hands to your heart. And release arms down. Good, very nice. These were kind of half sense salutation. All right, now let's do our full sense salutation. Remember, you always have the option to bring the knees onto the floor if uh, chaturanga is not in your practice, but we'll do the first one together with the knees on the floor. Big toes touch, find your mountain pose. Lift your kneecaps, tilt the pelvis forward, tailbone in lengthening down. Engage the quads, roll the shoulders out, the arms are extended alongside the body with the palm facing forward. Soft gaze forward. You inhale from the feet and you exhale through the crown of the head. A long line of energy from the crown of the head to the, to the center of your feet. Now bring the hands to the heart. Remember to be present. Remember your ujjayi breath. As you inhale, lift the arms above the head. Maybe press the hips forward so you can find a baby back bend. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, fall forward, uttanasana. Hands must touch the floor, so bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. And as you exhale, bend the knees, hands to the floor, find your high plank. Wrists underneath the shoulders, the heels above the toes, press onto the floor, lift up the shoulders, and feel your shoulder blades. Now bring the knees onto the floor. Shift the weight forward so shoulders go past the wrist. Bend the elbows in, chest to the floor. As you inhale, find a cobra. Find a baby cobra to start with, just uh, starting to warm up the lower back. You could even lift the hands off the floor. Actually, everyone lift the hands off the floor. Press the big toenail onto the floor. Feel the muscles of the lower back activating. The, sh the elbows are alongside the ribcage. Now bring the hands onto the floor. Inhale. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes. See if you can come straight into a high plank or if you need to go into a tabletop position. As you inhale, tabletop or high plank. And as you exhale, press back into downward dog. Find your breath. You always have to find your breath into downward dog. Now look forward. You can step, you can hop, right foot, left foot, front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up, stretch the spine, look down, exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Bend the knees, press onto the feet, inhale, rise all the way to the top, hands touch above the head, look up, exhale, hands to the heart. So this is your first variation, knees, chest onto the floor. Second variation is Chaturanga, let's see together what it looks like. Hands to the heart, inhale, rise, maybe find a deeper back bend if you feel like it. Exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana, release the forehead to the floor. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale into your high plank. 
Now everyone, you have the, you can bring your knees onto the floor, so that's the first step. Then everyone shift the weight forward, so if you are in your plank, you come onto the toes. Bend the elbows in, Chaturanga, 90 degrees. Now top of the feet flat on the floor, inhale, press the chest up for downward dog. So the difference between downward dog and cobra is that my thighs are lifted off the floor. Everyone inhale in the cobra or in the up dog, roll onto the toes, press back into downward dog. Shoulders away from the ears, tailbone is lifted up and back. And see maybe if your heels come closer to the floor without compromising your spine. Now look forward, you can hop or you can step at the front of the mat. Inhale halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale to release and to fold. Bend the, bend the knees, press onto the feet. Inhale, rise all the way to the top. And as you exhale, hands to the heart. We'll do two more like this. Remember to keep your core engaged and remember to be present and to breathe. As you inhale, lift the arms above the head. Back bend, exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana, release the forehead to the shins. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale into your high plank. Everyone, knees on the floor if you want to, and then shift the weight forward on the toes if you are in your plank. Bend the elbows in, Chaturanga, 90 degrees. Top of the feet flat on the floor, or you are in your cobra, or you are in your upward dog. Roll onto the toes, big exhale, downward dog. Remember, it's your practice, right? You make it your own. Your knees, not your knees. You can always keep the vinyasa and the sun salutation if you don't feel like doing them. Now look forward. You can hop, you can step at the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fall forward. Bend the knees, press onto the feet. Inhale, rise all the way to the top. As you exhale, hands to the heart. And release. Good. All right. Ah, feel good, right? It's really energizing. The sun salutation, they really warm up the body from the crown of the head to the toes. It's the best thing you could do in the morning. So I really strongly encourage you to do at least three every morning when you get up. All right, let's move on. Bring your feet together, your big toes together, your heels together, and the legs. You squeeze them all. We'll start with the chair pose. All the energy come inward. Arms alongside the body. Now, as you inhale, bend the knees, squat down, lift the arms above the head, and find your chair. Tilt the tailbone down. Make sure you can see your toes. So if you don't see your toes, you have to sit a little bit more towards the back and maybe a little lower. Release the shoulders away from the ears. You look to the horizon or you look between the hands. Engage your core firmly. Feel the burn in your thighs. Inhale, exhale, fall forward, release. Inhale, halfway up. Now you have the choice to take a vinyasa or to go straight to downward dog. If you take a vinyasa, it's high plank. Knees on the floor or not. As you bend the elbows, you find your cobra on your inhale or your upward dog as you inhale, sorry, and then we all meet in a downward dog. So this part of the practice, it's always optional. Remember, I've mentioned that earlier or before, it's called ahimsa, and ahimsa is non-violence. It's one of the principles of yoga, non-violence towards others, obviously, but non-violence towards yourself in respect with the body, so remember this one. Now as you inhale, lift the right leg high to the ceiling. Point the toes towards the ceiling. Keep breathing, keep pressing the floor away from you. Take another inhale here. As you exhale, shift into plank, come on, the, on your left toes and bring the right knee towards the right elbow. Point the toes towards the back of the mat. Press the floor away from you. So you are in a plank with the right knee to the right elbow. Good. Now inhale back to three-legged dog. Now as you exhale, shift into plank, but knee to nose. Round the upper back to create space. Maybe you touch the nose, maybe not. It's all right. Inhale back to three-legged dog. And now as you exhale, right knee, left elbow. So you want to twist. 
Good. Inhale back to three-legged dog. As you exhale, now bring the right foot between the hands, front of the mat. Now make sure you lift the back heel on top of the toes and the front knee is on top of the right ankle. As you inhale, lift the arms above the head, find your crescent and release the shoulders. Now see if you can sink a little deeper. Knit the ribcage in, relax the shoulders down, stop gaze forward. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, hands to the floor. You have the choice to go back to downward dog or to take a high plank, a cobra or an upward dog as you inhale. And as you exhale, a downward dog. And this is where we all meet. And there is absolutely no worries in not taking the vinyasa. Let's do that on the left side. As you inhale, lift the left leg up to the sky. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Your right heel is still firmly planted into the floor. The hands press the floor away from you. Engage the core. Inhale here. As you exhale, you shift into plank. So you lift the right, the right heel. Left elbow, left knee towards the left elbow. Point the toes. Find your core. Beautiful. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Exhale, shift into plank, knee to nose. Round the upper back, keep pointing the toes. Lift up the upper back. Inhale, three-legged dog. And last side, as you exhale, you cross and you twist over. Left knee, right elbow. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. As you exhale, left foot between the hands, front of the mat. Settle here, bring the back heel on top of the, of the toes. Left knee on top of the left ankle. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Relax the shoulders, soft gaze forward. Knit the rib cage, navel to the spine. And one more breath. And then inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor and everyone high plank. Good, now from here, can you lower down the right forearm onto the floor and then the left forearm onto the floor so you find yourself into an elbow plank or forearm plank. You want to gaze down the floor so you don't look forward, you keep gazing to the floor. Firm the belly, firm the glutes and the thighs. If you feel like putting the knees on the floor, you can already do that. Or you can hold with me for two more breaths. Good, now everyone set the knees onto the floor, flatten the top of the feet, roll the hips onto the floor and find your sphinx pose. So in sphinx pose, you want to have the elbows right underneath the shoulders. Open the fingers wide, now grip the floor with the fingertips and pull the floor towards you so you thread the heart uh, forward. Don't sink the shoulders, this is not a sphinx pose. Imagine a sphinx in Egypt, right? Standing very proud, looking forward. Feel the muscles in the lower back activating from the belly. Good, now from here, tuck the toes, lift the knees, press onto the elbows and lift back into your high plank, your, sorry, your forearm plank. Now from here, let's go to dolphin. So I want you to start moving your feet towards your elbows. Lift your bum, imagine a downward dog, but with the forearms onto the floor. And you gaze between your elbows or between the arms. If the heels don't touch the floor, don't worry about it. Keep pressing onto the elbows to release the shoulders down. Navel to the spine. I know this is challenging, but you can do this. Now slowly you can come back to a downward dog. So press onto the right hand, lift the right elbow, the left elbow, and find your downward dog. Good, very nice. Look forward. Right foot, left foot step at the front of the mat. Inhale halfway up. Exhale forward and release. 
Bend the knees, press on the feet, inhale, rise all the way to the top. Exhale, hands to the heart. Release, close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes, notice the sensations, notice what's going on. You can take a few exhales through the mouth to release some heat, release some energy, but then go back to your Ujjayi breath. Slow down the breath. Take one more cycle. And then gently bring the eyes open. All right, good, let's continue. You with me? All right, bring your feet together. We start with the chair pose again, so squeeze everything in. Nice chest open. As you inhale, bend the knees, squat down, find your chair. Open up the chest, tailbone is tucked under. Now bring the hands to the heart and let's twist from here. So you can gently lean forward with the chest. Now twist to the left and bring the right elbow on the outside of the right thigh. thigh sorry, now press onto the hands and twist. You really want to bring the whole of the torso to the right. Make sure your knees stay aligned and make sure the weight is towards the toes. You gaze over your left arm and the thumbs are right pointing at your sternum. Feel that in the core, in your obliques. You can smile. Inhale here. Exhale back to center. Inhale and exhale. Twist to the left. Uh, to the right, sorry, left elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Press onto the hands, revolve the torso. Tailbone is tucked under, your knees are level. You gaze over your right arm. Take two more breaths, you can do this. Inhale, exhale to center. Lift your arms above the head and fall forward, that is your release. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, you can come into a high plank or you can go straight to downward dog, knees to the floor or not, shift forward, bend the elbows. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And as you exhale, we all find downward dog. Oof. I bet you can feel your legs, right? I know, a lot of vibration, a lot of energy going on in the legs. Good. Inhale, lift the right leg high. Exhale, bring the right foot forward, front of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms above the head, find your crescent. Exhale, hands to the floor, downward dog, or you can take a vinyasa. Always keep the, the belly firm. Remember your ujjayi breath, and we all meet in downward dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Exhale, hands to the floor and everyone into a high plank. Good, very nice. And now, start with the left elbow, so or the left forearm. Bring the left forearm onto the floor and then bring the right forearm onto the floor and find yourself in a forearm plank. You gaze towards the floor. Your belly is firmly engaged, your quads, your bum, and you press on the elbows so you're not sinking the shoulders. You can already set your knees into the floor if you want to, or you can hold your, high, your plank with me for two more breaths. Now bring the knees onto the floor, flatten the top of the feet, roll the hips on the floor, Find your sphinx pose to start with. Pull the floor towards you, thread the heart forward. Big toenail pressing into the floor. Press onto the elbows, feel the shoulders going down. Inhale here. Now as you exhale, lower the chest to the floor, forehead onto the floor and bring the hands, slide your hands underneath the shoulders. Um, bring the elbows towards the ribcage, so hug the ribcage. 
As you inhale, press onto the hands and find a higher cobra. Now maybe your cobra is not as high as mine, maybe you are here, and here is fine, but feel that in the lower back. If you feel a back pinch, you've been too far. Heart is forward, elbows pressing back, shoulder blades together. Inhale here, as you exhale, lower the chest and the forehead to the floor. And now extend the arms, through, uh, the, the arms forward with the palms facing one another, the thumb facing up. And you can keep the legs, you can keep the legs where they are so they feel about hip distance apart. Now as you inhale, lift the left, arm, the left arm and the right leg, point the toes and lift as high as you can. You keep gazing towards the floor and as you exhale, you release. Inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg, lift as high as you can, and exhale to release. Inhale, lift the left arm and the right leg, exhale to release. Inhale, lift to the other side, lift, 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 exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. Last time on this side, inhale to lift. And exhale, release. Now let's see if we can do that, uh, everything at the same time. So as you inhale first, lift the legs off the floor, point the toes, press the pubic bone onto the floor, and then lift the arms. Let's take three breaths here. And then a big inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release with control. Make a little pillow with your hands and rest the forehead onto the top of the hands for crocodile pose. You can wiggle the hips from side to side. Oh, cramp. Ah. Oh. Take two more breaths here. Stay present. Good, and now let's go back to our sphinx pose. You know what's coming. So what's coming is forearm plank and then dolphin again. Spread the fingers, tuck the toes, lift the knees, so the thigh also lift up the floor. Squeeze the belly, press on the elbows and find your forearm plank again. And now to go to dolphin, you walk the feet towards the elbows. Imagine yourself into a downward dog, but on the forearm. And you gaze between your arms or between the elbows. Press onto the elbows, strongly engage the core. Press the hips up and back. It's a really good pose for the shoulders. It's a really sh good shoulders opening. Now you can hang out here, or you can, as you inhale, lift the right leg off the floor, pointing the toes up. And as you exhale, you can release the right foot onto the floor. Inhale, lift the left leg off the floor. Exhale to release. One more time. Inhale, lift the right leg. And as you exhale, release. Inhale, lift the left. And exhale, release. Good. Now see if you can maybe lift both elbows at the same time to Akon. And come back to your downward dog. <laughs> it's very challenging when you have them digging to the earth. Now look forward, step right foot, left foot, front of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, forward to release. Bend the knees, press onto the feet. Inhale, rise all the way to the top. And exhale, hands to the heart. And release, close your eyes for a moment. I think it's always good to take a moment to integrate what just happened. There is no need to go too fast. There is no need to burn ourselves. Ahimsa, non-violence. So just take a moment to notice whatever is going on in your fingertips, in your arms, in your legs, in your core. Take one last breath. Exhale through the mouth. And bring the eyes open. All right, almost there. We're going back to the floor now. Hands to the heart. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Baby back bend or 
a wider back bend, larger back bend, deeper back bend, that's the word I'm looking for. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, find your high plank. Hold your high plank for three, two, and one. It's easy now, right? Bring the knees onto the floor, shift forward, bend the elbows in, chest onto the floor. Inhale, find a cobra. Now notice how higher this cobra is. Yeah, I can see you, it's higher. Good. Tuck the toes, inhale, exhale, press back, downward dog. Good. Last downward dog of the practice. Notice, take a moment to notice how different it is. Where are your heels? How is your spine? Now set the knees to the floor. Walk the knees towards your, towards your wrists. Cross the ankles. And now sit back and move the legs forward. Good. Now we'll do a reverse, uh, table, reverse tabletop position. With, um, we've done that before, up and back. So bring the hands behind you. Open them wider than the hips because then we want to thread the hips between the hands. Fingertips pointing towards the, towards the front of the mat. The feet are about hips distance apart. Now you don't want to be here. If you're here, you, you won't go anywhere. Press onto the hands, lift up the chest, bring the belly to the spine. Now press onto the hands, lift the bum off the floor. You can move the bum towards your, towards your heels. And press on the feet and as you inhale, lift everything parallel to the floor and the ceiling. And you gaze up towards the ceiling, firm the belly. So you like a reverse tabletop, right? Good. Now take an inhale here. As you exhale, move the hips to the floor, only hovering. Now bring the bum between the arms. Straighten the legs and lift yourself up. Inhale here. As you exhale, bend, come back to your reverse tabletop. If you need to set the bum on the floor, don't worry about it. Inhale. Exhale, thread the bum behind the hands, lift yourself up, lift, lift, lift. Inhale here again, last time. Exhale, reverse tabletop. Ooh, I know it's burning. Inhale. Exhale, bring the bum behind the hands. Let's stay here for three, two, one, and slowly release to the floor. Good. Shake the wrist if you need to. Oof. Good, maybe make a little bit of circle. All right, very good. Now come a little bit more forward so you have, you have space behind you. Extend the arms forward. Join the hands and release the index. Now tuck the toes. Oh, not tuck the toes, what am I talking about? Tuck the, the chin and very slowly unroll the spine on the mat. Vertebra by vertebra the lower back first and then middle of the back and then the upper back the shoulders slowly with control and then the back of the head and then extend the arms behind the head point the toes and take a deep deep stretch a big inhale and as you exhale release good and move the arms back uh, on uh, on each side of your uh, of your body. Now, firm the belly, activate the feet, and as you inactivate the quads, and as you inhale, lift the legs towards the ceiling. Good. Now, it's called the right angle pose, so you want to look like a right angle. So make sure your knees are stacked above your hips, and your feet, well, you can keep the knees a little bit better if that's easier for you. Point your toes, and I want you to glue the lower back to the floor. So you really want to squeeze the lower belly in and you want to imprint the back onto the floor. Shoulders are nicely resting on the floor as well. Inhale here, exhale, slowly lower the right leg to the floor. It's only hovering. And as you inhale, you lift it back up. Slow and controlled movement, no momentum. Inhale here again. Exhale, left leg goes down, hovering the floor. Inhale to lift. 
Exhale, right leg to the floor. Inhale to lift. Exhale, left leg to the floor. Slowly with control, use your ujjayi breath. Inhale to lift. One more time. Exhale, right. Use the core, not the, not the uh, hip flexor. Inhale, lift. And exhale, left. And inhale to lift. Good, now let's do both legs at the same time. If you feel that the lower back is arching, you slide your thumbs underneath the sacrum so you'll have a little bit more support. It's absolutely fine to do that, it's even better so you don't compromise the lower back. Point the toes, inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower the legs to the floor. When you feel the lower back is arching, that's your spot, you stay there. And then you inhale to come back up. So remember, don't compromise. The, the spine just for the sake of going towards the full shape. Inhale, exhale, lower the legs down. As far as comfortable, use the core as you inhale, lift the legs back up. And last time, exhale, lower your legs down. And as you inhale, lift the legs up again. Good. Now, I'm gonna have to move, keep your legs up, and make sure that you have enough space on your right side and on your left side. And now open the arms to the side in a T. And now we twist. So point the toes up, inhale. As you exhale, shift. You can do that with your knees bent. Sh uh, move the legs to the right, only hovering the floor. Gaze to the left. Use the core, inhale, bring the legs up again. As you exhale, legs to the left. Gaze to the right. Use the core to inhale your legs up again one more time. Inhale in the center. Exhale, legs to the right. Gaze to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left, uh, legs to the left. That's hard to say. Look to the right. Inhale, back to center and knees to the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Ooh, good, and release here. Now bring the feet to the floor, open the feet as wide as your mat, and let the knees drop towards the center. So that's a good release for the lower back. So your feet are on the edges of the mat and the knees meet in the center. Take a few breaths here. You can always hear, exhale through the mouth to release some heat. Notice any sensation, any subtle movement. One more cycle of breath. Good. Now keep your feet where they are and open the knees. Bring the hands, interlace the hands, and bring them behind the head. Open the elbows to the side. Now inhale here. As you exhale, you move the knees to the right, and you gaze to the left for twists. You should feel that in your quads. You can close your eyes, and you can take a few deep breaths. Now, as you inhale, bring the knees back to center. As you exhale, move the knees to the left and gaze to the right. And then move the knees back to center. Release the arms alongside the body, straighten out the legs. And let's do an inversion here. Let's do a shoulder stand and a plow pose. So make sure you are one long straight line of energy. Activate the feet. Press the hands onto the floor. Use the core and as you inhale, lift the legs up to the ceiling. Now you can point the toes. Now move the hips up. Bring the feet towards the back of the mat. Bring the hands in the, low, in the middle of the back or the lower back. And as you inhale, you lift the legs towards the ceiling. By all means, don't look at your screen. So if you've done that when you were a kid, the shoulders stand. So the hands are really supporting the lower back. 
and the weight is onto the shoulders. You can gaze towards your belly, towards the belly button, so you at the same time do a chin lock. And you really want to roll the elbows, the shoulders behind the back, and the elbows towards one another. If you don't like doing shoulder stand, you can just stay on your back with the legs up. Now from here, you can slowly, with your legs straight, move your feet behind the head for plow pose. Now if this is not available for you, you can always bend the knees and bring the knees onto the forehead. That's one option. The second option is to have the toes behind the leg with straight legs or again with the knees on the forehead. And here you can release the arms on your mat. You can also grab the edges, the long edges of the mat. Don't worry if you can't go to the full shape. Sometimes it takes a bit of time. Let's take two more breaths. Then bring your hands back in the middle of the back. Lift the left leg up, the right leg up, find your shoulder stand again. And then slowly start to lower down the same way you got in. So maybe the feet move a little bit towards the back and you very gently with the support of the hands unroll the back on your mat with the support, support yourself. Legs straight up to the ceiling, palms flat and then slowly lower the legs towards the floor. Very good. Perfect, now let's count the pose with fish pose. So slide your arms behind your back. So you want to have your, you see my hands? My hands are behind my bum. Now press onto the elbows, bum the chest, look towards your feet, and then bring the crown of the head onto the floor and you gaze back. So you stretch the throat, we can't depose the throat here. really good for the thyroid. Inhale, exhale slowly release, release the arms, bring the knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug, maybe roll on the mat from side to side. If you want to take another twist, feel free to take another twist. If you want to take a cha um, happy baby pose before Shavasana, you can take a happy baby pose. Or you can slowly move the feet onto the floor, extend the left leg towards the left corner of the mat, the right leg towards the right corner of the mat, open up the palms to the ceiling, separate the arms from the rest of the body and find your Shavasana. And let go. You can let go of your Ujjayi breath. Let go of any control over the body. And for the next few minutes, allow yourself to dissolve into this moment. For the next few minutes, allow yourself to find some stillness stillness in the body and stillness of the mind. Release control in your legs and relax your legs. Relax your hips, your buttocks and your belly. Relax your arms, your hands and your fingers. Relax your chest, your shoulders, the whole of your face, the back of the head. And relax your mind. 
Let go of any thoughts. I know to do this concerns about the past or the future or whatever comes next and bring a very gentle awareness to your breath and stay present with your breath and every time the mind wanders you can make a conscious decision to come back home to your breath in the present moment just for a few more minutes. Now you can gently move your fingers and your toes. Let some sensation spread in your ankles and your wrists. Find any little movement or stretches that feel good to come back to the physical sensation. Maybe stretch the arms behind the head. You can yawn, you can take a big inhale. And as you exhale, you can release. You can bring your knees towards your heart. Give yourself one last big hug of gratitude for showing up of your, on your mat today. And then you can gently roll to the side. And with the support of the hands, you can come back to a seated position with your legs crossed and your eyes closed. Letting the flow of the breath go back to a vertical position, growing the spine tall but not stiff. And here again, you can repeat your intention three times. And you can extend this intention with about, you can extend this intention outside of your mat during your day, whenever you brush your teeth, when you cook when you are with your children, with your partner, with your friend, to be fully present with whatever you're doing. So again, silently in the mind, you can repeat, I am present, I am present, I am present. Now bring the hands to your heart in prayer. And to close the practice, we chant our peace mantra Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti. You can start by exhaling all the air out. Now inhale deeply to chant. Aum Shanti Shanti Shanti. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your hearts. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Thank you for joining my practice. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed dolphin and plank pose. I know it was a bit strong, but you know, sometimes it's just good to get out of the head, tune into the body, and just be present with whatever it is. So I am organizing yoga retreats. Um, you will find all the information in the comment box below. One in France, it's a yoga and trek. 
one in Belgium, it's a short one, it's only a long weekend, and then one in Spain in October in Lanzarote with some surf and some trek in the volcanoes. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, contact me, leave me a comment, let me know how your practice went. I send you love and light and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.